If you need a logo for your business, but you're not an artist, and you don't have professional graphic design software, or skills, or maybe you need inspiration, well, you've clicked on the correct video. Hooray! I'm going to show you how to make your own logo. We'll be making these logos in the video today, using guys software from start to finish, so you can have a professional business logo, and avoid paying $50 to $100 to a graphic designer. We're going to use an AI software called Midjourney to get customized and professional designs. Lightning quick. Oh wow. First you'll have to join their Discord server. If you don't have or know what Discord is, it is a chat software and it's free to join. Now that we have Discord or have created one, we can join the Midjourney Discord server. In Discord, click Midjourney in the left panel. On their home page you can see all the amazing AI generated artwork that the community has created and maybe even get some inspiration for your artwork. Midjourney does have a paid subscription so you can type privately to their chatbot instead of typing to the whole community trying to get your artwork made and then losing it as other people type in their prompts. It's not that much, considering you have an automated art generating program. On the other side, you could be paying a graphic designer $50 to $100 per design. Now let's get to creating our logo so no, we're going to start with the basics of creating a logo with AI software, such as Midjourney, and how you need to prompt the AI to make your logo. Now that you've clicked on Midjourney in the left panel, move to the right panel, where you see Midjourney bot right click, and press message to start your own private message with the Midjourney bot, so you can create artwork. Now to prompt the AI to create a piece of artwork, you need to type forward slash imagine to the message box and then start typing your prompt. But wait don't start typing yet, I have formula to help you prompt the bot correctly. To formulate a logo, you'll need to give the bot a few pieces of information first type a figure or mask it, and then make sure to type the word logo so the bot knows that you're trying to create a logo type image. Then describe the style of detail which could be minimalist or detailed and I will provide a list of detail prompts that you can use to customize your image. Finally include prompts of what you want the bot to exclude for example. If you want a minimally detailed image type minimal detail or straight lines or no shading detail but I will also have a list of those prompts as well. These will help you lay the groundwork as you build your logos and images to shape them into your own masterpieces, but also I have more detailing tips later in the video that will boost these prompts. Now that we've laid the foundation on which to prompt the bot with let's get started on our first logo. First we're going to create a company for a gym and our mascot or figure is going to be a rhino because they are big and strong. So we will call this company Rhino Heavyweight Gym. Now let me start this off with a bit of advice. You may not get your desired image on the first try in fact more often than not. You will have to make small edits to your prompts to receive your desired image. And not to worry, you will see my process of how to work out these details so that you can also reach your desired image and more pro tips of how to prompt the bot to tweak your artwork just right. So the first prompt I used was a logo of a rhino flexing his bicep. Minimal detail, two colors, minimal shading, circular logo shape, vector, clean lines, white background, and these are the first results I received not bad. Definitely some great artwork here, but I need to tweak this just a tiny bit more to get some more simplistic detail for a business logo. If I need to tweak a few words, I'll type forward slash imagine, and then highlight copy and paste my previous prompt into the message box and then change out words, to make the process easier on myself. For instance here, I changed my prompt to include fewer words, being more specific with my design needs. Because I want to simplify my logo, I took circular logo shape and minimal shading out from the first prompt and condensed the circular logo into the beginning and just added no shading all to the new prompt and you can see it is more condensed. So by copy pasting and changing a few words around, you can get different results without drastically changing your desired image. I like the fellow in picture for, I can work off of this image to mold and sculpt what I want my logo to be. He's a little bit too detailed, so I'm going to press V4 variation and 4, because he's the fourth photo. This will allow me to pick this photo out and make changes to it. For this change I typed no fine details, to the end of the existing prompt. Ok now we're getting somewhere his detail is more logo like now. So to sculpt my image even further, I'm going to press U4 upscale, so that we can get a larger and cleaner image. 
You can also upscale multiple images if you think you can obtain your desired image from other photos as well. I'll use this image and press make variation, but I'd like to remove the color so I type no color to the end and remove two colors from the middle. And these are the results were well, not bad. I like these two at the bottom so I will upscale both of them and see what I get. Getting there, but there are some portions of the face that I'm not crazy about. But what we can do is a light upscale and it will change the image only slightly. Great. These are two really great options and I think I will go with the fellow on the left for my logo. And I already know what you're thinking. Oh gosh I really hope that's his tail. Sometimes my journey may add extra limbs, eyes and most of the time extra fingers. But you can use the same process that we use today, by creating variants and upscaling to get rid of the extra limbs. And with our rhino image, I won't be needing the rest of the body anyway, because I only want the head and the flexed arm to show in my logo. We will also need to get rid of the background and add text to our image, which I will show you how to do right now you don't have any professional graphic design software not a problem you can use canva.com for free for picture editing canva is a robust editor for all things art and as i mentioned it is free to use with some paid advanced features but we are adding words to our picture so we don't need to pay any subscriptions here now that we're in canva go to design spotlight and under photos and videos click photo editor this will bring you to the editor where you will be able to upload your artwork and edit your work. Now that we're in the Canva editor, I want to get rid of the background and the circle behind the rhino. So we'll click edit photo and click the background remover. So a white background has been removed. Now to remove the circle and the other pieces that we don't want just click the background remover again to edit more. As you can see the horn on the rhino was removed with the background. No problem just click restore to paint over the parts that were erased by accident. Now let's click the erase background button and start erasing the circle in the back and the part of the body that is not needed. Looks fantastic. Now press the back button to go back to the photo editor. We can also tweak the colors by clicking the adjust button. To make sure they are right for our logo for instance, I want the lines to be a more true black, so it will color match with the rest of the logo. Great, that's exactly what I wanted. Now let's add a circle around him. To add any type of shapes or customization to your logo, go to the left panel and click on elements. Here you will find all kinds of lines, shapes and graphics to use in your logo. For us we are going to choose the circle shape. To make it an empty circle instead of a solid ball, we are going to click on the solid color box at the top and then make it transparent. After that we will click the outline button and choose our color. Now we increase the weight to make our circle thicker and adjust it to the correct position. Now we need to add our text. So click text in the left panel and you can either choose from text templates they offer or go through and pick your own font. This one looks pretty good. You can use the purple box around the text to resize the font, if it is too small. If we want to wrap the text around the circle, just press effects on the top panel and at the bottom you will see curve click that and edit the curve of your text to your liking. You can also wrap the text around the bottom by changing the curve to the negative side. Ok I like that more. Now let's add a small established 2023 text in the middle. Well look at that, our logo is complete and without having professional design software and skills or paying buckets of money to a graphic designer. Now to export your masterpiece click share in the upper right corner and make sure to export as a PNG file so you can have a transparent background for future customization. Wow, what a wild ride we just made a business logo out of thin air without an expert. Now we're going to get into different types of logos with different prompts so you can have a well-rounded understanding of how to shape your logo. Now let's get back to my journey, so we can formulate our next logo. But now that we've laid a little groundwork, it won't take us as long to make the rest of the logos. Our next logo is a juice company, for a dog named Henry. And our prompt is, a simple minimalist logo, with a brown hound dog, that has an orange in his mouth, minimal shading, vector, clean lines, white background. Here are the results, a little too minimal to me, and I may need to specify that the orange is a fruit that he's holding in this mouth. I tried a few more prompts to increase the detail level, and to specify that the orange that the dog was holding in his mouth was a fruit, and here was my prompt that worked the best. A logo of a brown hound dog, holding an orange fruit in his mouth. 
vector, moderate shading, white background. Yes these are much better, let's upscale number 2 and work with him. Here's our upscaled buddy, let's try a light upscale on him, to see if we can improve further. Yes this is it, let's use this one, open browser, and right click save, as and I'll see you in Canva. Now in Canva, let's make a bold underline where we can split up our text. We're going to click elements like last time, and use a square to shape into an underline. And Canva has a cool color matching feature, that pulls colors from your image to be able to choose from. So we will match the dark brown. On Henry's coat, I will show you later how to use the eyedrop color match tool. But now that we have that done, we can't forget to remove the white background from our hand buddy. Just remember edit and remove background. Time to add text. This looks like a nice strong font. We'll add the words Henry's freshest juices. And we'll match the color with the canvas suggested shade. Pro tip. You can use each art asset as a layer, so I want the Henry's text to fall just behind the ear. All you do is right click, go to layer and press send backward. Now the text is behind the ear. Well perfect, we're already done with our logo. Just remember to export it as a pin with a transparent background, so let's move on to our next logo. And it's going to be a mountain beer brewing company, with a black German shepherd as a mascot. And here is the prompt that I started with. A minimalist logo of a mountain, a silhouette of a profile view of a black German shepherd dog black lines only, vector, white background. Not bad, but let's get more simplistic with it. Here's the prompt that worked out best. A minimalistic logo of single peak mountain, in the middle of the mountain, is a silhouette of a profile view of a black German shepherd dog black lines only, simple shapes and clean lines, vector, white background. Much better this one will work, let's do a quick upscale, and put this into Canva. Now in Canva, we start to add our text, and here's how to color match. With the eyedrop tool, click the color option at the top, press the color plus button, and then click the eyedropper tool. This will allow you to color match, from any color in your image. Now let's get a little advanced detailing, by giving the text a white outline so we can make it blend more cohesively. With the bottom of the image, instead of just butting up to the bottom, click effects at the top, and then click outline. And then change the color to white, so we can match the background. And we'll remove the background of everything, later. Well that looks great now, let's remove the background. First we need to export this as a PNG file, and make sure you didn't previously remove the background because we need the background to be white. For the next step, if you already did just make a white square in elements, and make that the background, and then export that as a PNG file, so that you have an image with text with an all white background, then you need to bring that file back into Canva by uploading it, and then you can erase all of the white background. And then of course export your final product as a PNG file with a transparent background. Okay let's do a capybara coffee brand with more geometric shapes and colors. My prompt was a minimalistic logo featuring the silhouette of a geometric capybara gradient blue and mint green minimal detail vector white background. Great first try and I love the look of the number to fellow let's upscale him. Wow, even better exactly what I wanted now, let's pull him into Canva for text editing. Okay first off background is getting edited out, and then we move to our text. We're going to use the eyedropper tool again, so we can grab different colors from our capybara and match them on our logo text. The text seems a little too simplistic, so I'm going to add a shadow from the effects button in the top panel, and then we can edit the shadow's color from there. Another great one. Let's use a different kind of prompt with our next and last logo. This time we are going to prompt the eye to reference a certain artist and their specific style of art. But we'll also do something interesting where we tell the eye to use another picture as inspiration. We're going to go with a colorful watercolor picture of a woman flexing and call it Jenny's Protein Shakes. A minimalistic logo featuring a woman flexing her bicep, rainbow gradient, watercolor, minimal detail, vector, white background. If you're not satisfied with your results, but believe you can get a good result with the same prompt, just click the remix button here. Great, number three will work, let's give it an upscale. Now let's prompt the bot into new ways. First we're going to copy and paste this to start a new prompt, but we're going to reference an artist and reference the image we just upscaled. We're going to reference Ivan Chermayev, who is responsible for some of the most famous logos by typing by Ivan Chermayev. 
and you can do this with almost any artist you can think of. Next we're going to reference our upscaled image, so that our new prompt can use this image to make a new one. All you have to do is right click on your image and press copy link. Next type use and then paste the picture link in, and then type as inspiration so it's using the picture as inspiration. That's perfect. Let's upscale number one and bring her over to Canva. First off we'll get rid of the background, and then add our text this time, we'll use a text template, this one looks good. Now with our text let's make it fall just behind the arm, by right clicking and sending it backwards. Great let's finish our text and change the colors, by using the eyedropper tool. Great, but I feel like it's missing something so let's go to elements and make a diamond shape around her, and then right click and send it backwards. And with a few adjustments we're done and ready to export. I hope this video was helpful and gives you the power and confidence to move forward with your business. If you like this video consider subscribing to the Autowoods YouTube channel. I have a mobile app for iOS and Android that allows you to connect your bank account to your credit card and automatically pay credit card charges as you make them so you can gain the cash rewards and you don't keep the debt. This allows you to use your credit card like a debit card, so you're not racking up debt and on top of that, paying interest on that debt every month. It will be available in April or May, but we will have an announcement for the launch on our social media, Instagram, TikTok, and of course here on YouTube, so subscribe to our channel to be notified for the launch of our app. Thank you and see you in the next video.